Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So right in front of me is my newly acquired Innovation Cabin Operating Panel from June of 2004. So this panel is 20 years old and still looks in pretty good, looks to be in pretty good condition and it looks to be built better than a lot of cabin operating panels today. So we're going to go over it real quick. We have an emergency phone in this box here as you can see pretty cool it's got this gold finish to it which I like a lot um, alarm bell button door open door close then we have basement one and two which ironically enough if we were to have an elevator in this house those would be the floors we have. We have the basement, we have floor one, and then two, which we're on now. Um, now let's go over some of the key switches. So we have the stop switch here, which takes the 512 key. Let me just find it real quick. Ah, here we go. So we have a 512 key here. We'll go ahead and flip it to stop. And what that does is it uh, places the elevator out of service, and it can also be used to stop a moving elevator in an emergency, but you have to have the 512 key. Okay. And moving on up, we have five more key switches. We have light, fan, independent service, inspection service, and fire service phase two. So, because this was built before 2007, this does not take the FEO K1, it takes the 515. Um, but anyway, these three switches here all take the same key, the 513, on this panel anyway. Because I know in some innovation panels, the light switch takes the 511 key for whatever reason, but uh, on this panel, they all take the... 513 key which is this one I'm holding right now if it can just focus okay uh, there we go 513 so let's go ahead and turn the light switch off turn it back on now we'll put the fan switch to the off position and then we'll also turn it to high. And now we'll turn it back to low. We'll turn on independent service. So now it's on independent service, which would hold the doors open and then you select a floor and then you hold door close. And then as soon as the elevator starts moving, it's going to open up automatically like it would a normal service. Difference is that elevator that is an independent service cannot be called. You have complete control over it and the door stays propped open. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. I don't know too much about inspection service, but what from what I've heard is as soon as you turn that on, uh, you can't control the elevator from inside. You have to control it either outside or from the car top, and all the hoistway doors open up. So all of the doors on all the floors would open up, which is why uh, inspection service is strictly for elevator technicians. So this takes the 514 key, by the way. So 514 key is only for elevator personnel, elevator technicians, and qualified inspectors. And now for the fire service phase two switch. We have a 515 key here for that switch. We'll go ahead and flip it to on. So now, it's in phase two fire service. 
You want to select a floor. You don't want to go there. Press call cancel. Say you select all the floors. Don't want to go there. Call cancel. So now let's go down to the basement. You press and hold door closed. Take your finger off. Door opens up again. That would be the same in independent service, but uh, unless it was a Schindler, because independent service varies by elevator manufacturer, but fire service, generally speaking, is the same on all elevators, and that's a code requirement. So you hold the door closed till the door is completely closed, because like an in independent service, the door will stay propped open. And then once you get to your floor, the door won't open, you have to hold the door open, let go if you see fire, the door closes back up automatically. So now you can open the door, and once it's fully open, you can let go. The door is propped open. If you want to hold it, turn it back one notch to hold. Here's something else that's funny. This fire switch is a three-key pull, which means you can remove the key in the on position. And then, if you wanted to send this back to the lobby for another firefighter, turn it off. Elevator automatically goes back to the recall floor, which is 1, as denoted by that star. And then, once again, elevator is not going anywhere until you turn fire service back on. As you can see, three key pull, like I talked about. Um... And let's say there was a restricted floor. In fire service, restricted floors are overridden because a fire could be on any given floor, including staff-only floors. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I might do another video showing the inside of the panel, but I'm not going to do that now because it's a pain in the butt to get all those screws out. There are eight of them. And then open up the panel. It is kind of heavy. Um, but yeah, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.